G'day, I'm Bruce Campbell, Director of Neurology and Stroke at the Royal Melbourne Hospital in Melbourne, Australia. Stroke is a massive global health problem. Over 12.2 million people every year have a stroke, which means that one in four of us will have one in our lifetime. Stroke's essentially a plumbing problem in the brain. When we have a disrupted blood flow to the brain, that causes a stroke. And in eight out of 10 cases, it's a blocked blood vessel, but it can also be a burst blood vessel. So when a stroke happens, the brain loses the supply of oxygen and nutrients it needs, and we get symptoms. And we can you know, recognize those as a sudden change in weakness or sensation. Most important thing is for people to recognize the fast message. So that's the face, arm, speech, and time to call triple O. Face, facial droop, arm um, weakness or sensory loss, uh, the speech being slurred or incomprehensible, and then the important thing is to activate emergency systems with a triple O call. When you activate triple O, the call takers will recognise hopefully that there's a stroke and it helps to say, I think this person's having a stroke and they'll dispatch an ambulance and that ambulance will take you to an appropriate hospital that has the capability to treat stroke. When someone arrives with stroke, they treat us with the highest priority and they will try to get to a CAT scan of the brain to take pictures as soon as possible. That's really important because I mentioned there were two types of stroke, blood vessel blocked or bleeding burst blood vessel, and we really can't tell the difference without a CAT scan, but the treatment is entirely different. Clot dissolving treatment's been around for a couple of decades and it's very effective in removing the blood vessel blockage that we have, but also we now have uh, clot retrieval technology, which has been around for almost a decade and dramatically reduces disability after the most severe strokes. This is the type of brain imaging that a patient has when they come to the emergency department. So in this case, we have a patient where the left side of the brain, which is actually here, uh, is dark, and that's the early signs of a stroke caused by a blocked blood vessel. We can confirm that by giving contrast into a vein. You can see here the normal artery on the right side of the brain is missing on the left-hand side. So this is a patient who needs a clot retrieval procedure as soon as possible. I'm Peter Mitchell, I'm the Director of the Neuro Intervention Service at Royal Melbourne Hospital. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about stroke and clot retrieval, also known as mechanical thrombectomy. The entire structure we have is aiming at minimising the time between when the patient has a stroke, when they've got a blood clot blocking their artery, because damage commences straight away. So the quicker we can get that patient through to the angiography suite, the better. Uh, we'll get four warning that the patient's uh, coming in, and so we'll know that the patient's arriving. Our aim is to get them either directly from the emergency department up to the angiography suite uh, as soon as possible. Sometimes they may even bypass the emergency department and go directly to us from the helipad, which we have on the roof. This is a stent retriever. It's one of the devices we use to remove blood clot from arteries in the brain. We also use catheters that can go up and by suction remove the blood clot. Two different ways to do the same thing. This particular device, you can see as it comes out of the sheath, it's a little mechanical device that is both strong enough to grab the clot but not strong enough that it will tear the artery or do damage. So we deploy that in the artery in the middle of the blood clot and then the whole thing's withdrawn out of the patient and the blood clot's pulled out of the patient. 